bringing you Windows 8 customer preview. This is build 8250. We're running it on a Acer Icona Tab W500 multi-touch five points. I will have it plugged into my HD monitor through HDMI and I'm going to show you how to properly set up Windows 8 and show you the tips you need to know. Windows 8 customer preview build 8250 tips and strips, slip streaming and removing unnecessary Windows installed features. Go to your control panel which I have pinned to my bottom left. Go to program features. Go to turn on features on or off, wait for it to load. Here you will have a few things. You can remove Internet Explorer 10 if you want. I personally use it. I don't like Firefox or or crappy Chrome. They install all those unnecessary Windows services which don't get me started. Click on media features. I personally will remove me Windows Media Center. I think that's garbage. I also remove Windows Media Player. I think that's also bloatware and garbage. A good replacement for a Windows Media Player, download Community Codec Pack, Google it. It comes with Windows Media Player Classic, which is way better than Windows Media Player itself. If you need a music program, I suggest either using iTunes if you have an if you have an iOS device or Winamp. Bar is another good one. And as well as video, like I said, Windows Media Player Classic that comes with Community Kodak Pack works extremely well and DLC works extremely well as well. Those are the ones that I would use and I get rid of the bloatware ones that come with Windows 8. Here, I'm actually surprised to see, but it's useless now is Windows Gadget platform. I would get rid of that. As far as I know, I'm surprised it's even here because it's what the live tiles are supposed to re supposed to replace are the Windows gadgets for 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 information on the screen. So if it's checked on check it you'll never use it again. Make sure you have Windows search checked. I personally get rid of the XPS service and the XP XPS viewer they tried to compete with PDF. Nobody ever uses it. It's a waste. Don't worry about it. You won't need it. Windows Location Provider, that's totally up to you. It's used for applications, mostly used on laptops and uh, tablets and other handheld devices to pinpoint your location. If you do happen to run a tablet, even if you don't run a tablet, tablet PC components are very extremely useful comes with the program called Snipe Tool, which is really, really, really good for taking screenshots and selective screenshots or just partial screenshots. Way better than print screen. But those are the ones, those are, those are my tips for slipstreaming the Windows 8 installation after you install it. Definitely, definitely get rid of Media Player and Media Center. They're such a resource hog and they install unnecessary Windows services that are a pain in the ass to kill for the better part.